This is going to be a very short mini healing read. Okay, I'm going to pull one card from my roomy oracle. And we're going to read it and do a little healing um, ritual that goes with it. And we're going to enjoy the rest of our days, this, the rest of our day, <laughs> this little reading. I hope it finds you well and it empowers you in some way to face whatever demons you may be fighting right now. All right. What does our collective need to heal right now, please? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. And welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Where we talk about ascension and awakening, love and healing. Deep breath in and out. We have Divine Mother Manifest, number 15. Look at that. Just taking the beautiful healing energy of that card. Number 15, if you add it up, it's number 6, which is the energy of spirituality and the spiritual journey itself. Incredible. Let's see what this card has to say. I'm going to read it directly from the book. There is such a beautiful energy coming off of her heart chakra, and I just love it so much. It's like she's just radiating this love energy, right? Oh, you living in the world of six directions, accept the gloom and accept the bliss for these seeds buried in the ground. For those seeds buried in the ground, pardon me will one day grow into fruitful orchards. Beautiful. That's from Rumi. We share her, this divine mother. You and I, we are her precious children. We are born through her love and she shares in our losses and our gains, our tragedies and our triumphs. Her hair forms the galaxies. Her thoughts become the stars. The sun is her own warmth, and her breath is felt upon this earth, causing the roar of the ocean waves. Her voice is heard in the call of the whales and the trill of the birds. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Her voice is heard in the call of the whales and the trill of the birds. She is all. Nurturing life into existence. She is in, whoa. <laughs> she is in my reaching for you. And she is in your acceptance of my divine hand. She is all this great lady. Nothing lies outside of her sphere of influence and power, compassion and grace. That includes you and your dreams, great and small, my angel of love. Oh, I love that. So beautiful. This oracle comes to you via the sacred grace and mercy of the divine mother, who is the great manifesting expression of divinity. All that is created, all that is made manifest without exception flows from her being. This is why it is safe to trust in life even most especially the inexplicable mystery and even the darkness that may give rise to fear and judgment within us. It is all parts of her unfathomable, unfathomable workings. So we pray for light. We pray for love. We honor and live our lives with its mysteries with as much integrity as we can muster. But beyond that, it is best to participate in this life with much less certainty than the mind would have us believe necessary for inner peace. Inner peace doesn't come with understanding. It comes with trusting. Oh, that is so true. Can we understand a star? 
or a galaxy? Perhaps not. Yet, we can choose to trust in its beauty and beingness, and from it derive great energy, hope, and inspiration. The ways of the Divine Mother are not to be judged by our limited standards rather than can be witnessed, experienced, and received. What a relief to not need to understand. What a relief to simply live with trust and know that everything will work its way out. Through those wise ways of the Divine Mother, there is a gift headed to you right now. Will you receive it? That gift is one of manifestation, something you have been working towards, growing into, loving and dreaming for, perhaps for a very long time, is finally coming to fruition. Oh, I love this so much, you guys. I'm literally reading this from the book and I have chills all over my body. Perhaps you've caught a sniff of the aromas from the divine kitchen and you know that the meal is nearly ready and it smells delicious. Or perhaps you've already been a curious and naughty angel. You've poked your head through a door to the divine dining room only to be captivated by the candlelight dancing in reflection upon gleaming silverware and the subtle sounds of crystal goblets and finest china being laid down upon an exquisite dining table. Or maybe, dearest one, you had absolutely no clue what is about to happen. With your thoughts and attentions so often turned to the past, or the future, you have yet to realize what is coming to life for you this very moment. Perhaps you will not gain any advance notice. You will instead run smack into the middle of a dinner party hosted in your honor and perhaps even feel unprepared, wondering if this morning's yoga attire is suitable for such a grand occasion. I love this so much. You are being asked to receive this gift completely and utterly. Whether you feel sufficiently worthy or not, or appropriately and readily attired, it is time. Let me read that again. It is time. And the bestowal of this gift is as it should be, whether it seems to be in the best form, or how it should be according to your opinion, or the opinions of others, it is as the Divine Mother has accorded it to be. She has her wild ways, of course, and oftentimes her workings in the world are, to put it mildly, downright unfathomable. Yet, somehow, all things, all creations, all of life, her every working, serve love. You are one of her creations, and so is the eminent manifestation of your own heart truths. Live it, love it, receive it completely. It is yours and meant to be so. Oh, this makes me so happy. What a beautiful reading. This oracle comes with additional guidance for you. No matter whether or not things appear to be working out, they are. Let me say that again. No matter whether or not things appear to be working out, they are. Look at I'm reading this straight from the book, you guys. And you are held in the loving protection of the Divine Mother to keep you from straying from your highest path and divine destiny. There is work here for you to do upon this planet in your own unique way. It is the work of the Divine Mother, the work of love. So then, allow her to care for you, even if you wonder what the Heavenly Minx is up to at times. How <laughs> beautiful. All right, let's do the sacred honoring ritual. Place your left hand with palm facing upwards in front of you, reaching out as if to receive. And then you're going to take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, another one, in through the nose, hold and let it out. 
and then you're going to say out loud, Divine Mother, through your gracious compassion and bounty, I humbly bow. Bow your head to your hand for a moment, or if you wish, kneel and kiss the floor. So do whatever feels right for you, my loves. In this action, allow yourself to truly surrender into the workings of love. I am bowing my head in such love and humble love. Just intend to surrender and it shall be. So I'll take a moment to appreciate the profound beauty of this moment. Then arise and place your left hand out again with your palm facing up and arm extended slightly as if to receive and say out loud, I willingly accept the bestowal of grace now manifesting into form as a heartfelt wish delivered to me through the Divine Mother's genius and generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that so much, you guys. <laughs> you have finished your sacred honoring ritual. That was quite honestly one of the most beautiful healing rituals I've come across in this um, Rumi Oracle. I love it so much. It just made my heart so happy. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. What a beautiful, beautiful gift. So something that we want and we have been trying to manifest is on its way for this beautiful Christmas season right on time, right? I am so grateful. So just surrender and allow it to come. Don't fight it in any way. Sit with the energy of expectancy and excitement and know that your gift from the Divine Mother is on its way with so much love and care just for you. I love you all so much. Have a happy holiday. Mwah.